The U.S. flagged Maersk, Alabama is back under control of its own crew after pirates hijacked it off the Somali coast, the first time Americans have been taken hostage at sea in 200 years. There were 20 sailors aboard, including Captain Shane Murphy. His father says officials here at the Pentagon told him the crew, including his son, the second in command, had retaken the ship. I think once they got them on the run, I think they ran. Um, I think that they probably jumped over the side, three of them. Um, one they had taken into custody. But a person aboard the vessel told the AP the pirates are still holding Captain Richard Phillips hostage in a lifeboat, something his wife says may have been unavoidable in dangerous waters. I got an email from him and I knew he was heading into uh, Mombasa and he had even made him comment that the pirate activity had been picking up. The ship's owner did not want to see his sailors mount an offensive against heavily armed pirates. Because they'd be outgunned. They don't have any weapons, so it would be inappropriate for them to try to be heroes. We'd like them to come home safely. That leaves it up to the Navy and other forces to keep ships safe. And while the U.S. and its allies have upped patrols in the Gulf of Aden, experts say there's just too much ground to cover. You would need hundreds and hundreds of naval ships to be able to patrol that effectively, and that's really what the problem is for this area. The Pentagon says the nearest ship at the time was hundreds of miles away. While saying President Obama is keeping close tabs on the situation, a White House official says one of the things being discussed with allies is better surveillance and a bigger presence in the western Indian Ocean. Sagar Megani, The Associated Press, The Pentagon.